Early voting begins next week for a special election in Virginia Beach. City Council District 1 is up for grabs. Sarah Hammond breaks it all down for us. Back in September, former Virginia Beach District 1 City Council member Rocky Holcomb stepped in as interim sheriff. When I started here, I never imagined uh, one day becoming the sheriff, but uh, I've come to work every day and, uh, and, and put in a good day's work. Now the city is gearing up to elect his replacement. On the ballot starting next week are David Hutchison, Teresa Gladney, and John Napier. Hutchison is the city's former fire chief. Gladney started a nonprofit, and Napier is a Virginia Beach based attorney. Early voting kicks off November 29th at the city's voter registration and elections office at the municipal center. It's also important to remember you can only vote for the District 1 election if you actually actually live in that district. District 1 includes portions of Kempsville, Bellamy Manor, and Lake Christopher. It's part of the city's new 10-1 voting system, which replaced the old at-large system. The new voting system has been a point of contention over the last year, but ultimately a majority of citizens were in favor. 81% indicated some level of support. Voting rights groups told us in the past they think it's the best way to have a council that represents the people in each district. The 10-1 system in November of last year gave us the most diverse city council in the history of Virginia Beach. If you're planning to vote by mail, you need to request a ballot by December 29th, and election day is January 9th. In Virginia Beach, Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. The Hampton Roads Black Caucus is hosting a candidate forum on December 7th. It's from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Philippine Cultural Center of Virginia.